guys, Space Marine 658 here, and I'm here to bring you the next episode in our Let's Play as Norway. Uh, we're trying to form the Kingdom of Scandinavia, and we're currently at war with Kivenis, and we're trying to take their territory of Kemi. But, uh, yeah, Kemi. They only have like 517 dudes, so this should be quick and easy. Speed it up a little bit. Okay, unsuccessful raids. Holding. They probably had like around 400 or so, and now they're down to 382. Nothing much to do really right now while we wait for them to siege it down. Uh huh. Let's take a look. He's currently fabricating claims. Uh, he's training troops, collecting, steal, studying technology. Nothing much really we can do right now. That wise. I know there's a way. I know it's it's just bothering me that. Um. Help you along. See. Trying to figure out um how to change the laws, because I know there's a way to do it. I don't know if it is like earlier, like I said, reforming. Um. Or if it's, you know, something else. And since we are so far ahead, because we have a huge ahead penalty, uh, we are going to, let's see, what is our arm? Like, well, like crazy stuff. Uh, heavy infantry. So we're going to boost up our heavy infantry. Make them a little more powerful. Um, we're plotting to kill them. Let's see, there are no plots. We don't care about any of these. No factions. And our religion is 46%. To reform, we must have 50%, and I need to control at least three holy sites. Alright, let's actually look at the holy sites while we're thinking about that. So we have, uh, where is it? I think it's somewhere over here. We have a holy site, um. Oh, there's north over here. Hmm. Let's just go back to this because I'm not seeing him. Let's go. Yeah. Oops. La. Oops. Let me zoom in. Oh, what was that? Wait. That's here. The temple. Really? Okay. So uh, our neighbors have that one. Hydra. It's okay. So. Denmark has that one. Well, it's not Denmark now, but they can form Denmark. And then we have this one. Okay, that's where it is. For some reason, it's not showing our uh, holy sites. Maybe it's a different... No? Uh, let's look at these other ones. Padobar. Okay, so that's into East France here, I believe is where that is. And that one's over by Netherlands. Okay. So our best choices are to go after those guys, and uh, these guys. Sorry, it took a bit of time doing that. Uh, crap, forgot to start my timer too. Well, this is going to be a little bit longer episode then. I'm sure you guys don't mind either. Alright, there we go. Uh, so we completely sieged it down, so we have to go attack them. Which is fine, we vastly outnumber them here. Um, you already have me and this guy, so let's put this guy. Alright, my daughter Inger does her homework and is always in time for lessons, so she is a good mentor. So she gets diligent, which is awesome. Hers in front of the court, which means she 
It's a 25% chance to get one of those, but then people like her less. And uh, she gains high prestige. Thank her for her virtues, make her lazy. Child needs to lighten up, make her lazy, and have her lose. Diligent, no. Uh, diligence is awesome. Even though she may not be a direct heir or anything, she can influence how our Alright, so they're trying to escape to Karja. We'll probably catch them, I hope. Here. Getting out on the 15th. Do we even have a bonus to... Mm. Nope, doesn't look like we have a movement bonus, which kind of sucks, but hey, we got him. There we go. Alright, let's just... Okay, we got 100%, so offer peace, enforce demands. Well, bam, we win. We can drop our troops. Let's see. We can't expand our retinue, so... Alright. So since we have to get this anyways, um, let's actually, we could text the Jotland. They would be a pretty easy target probably. Well, these guys would too, but, and wait, but we don't have a cast spell, do we? Not against the Jotland. Nope. What about these guys? Nope. We do have one against these guys and these guys. So actually, let's declare war on these guys. Oh wait, we got truce. So let's go up here. Uh -huh. We don't have a truce with these guys. Kola, Sami. Let's see, how many troops do they have? 616, so they'd be easy to take. Uh, conquest of Kola, Conquest of Kanai, Finnemarku, the your claim on Finnemarku. Um, look and see if they give different buffs. Gaines County and Norse gets more authority. If we do this, the guy becomes our leash. Well, we don't want that. Um, just for the same plain and simple fact that it's not... Um, we get a guy who doesn't like us very well. And that kind of sucks. So, let's raise up all our guys. Send everyone up here. Except this guy, who I guess we'll just lower. We don't need those 19 guys. They'll probably just create more negative effects than positive effects anyways, so. But yeah, that's my eventual end goal, is to form the entire empire, which would be awesome. The Sweden. That's not what I was trying to click, but let's just look at Tashor anyways. Uh, and then this guy has actually got this touchy. So we own 20%. That's pretty big duchy. Uh, there's two titles that can be created, but because we're already going to lose those titles, unless I can figure out how to change the succession laws, um, it doesn't matter anyways. Uh, see, I'm trying to figure out. Hmm. Eric Sarah composes or proposes to compose your family's chronicles. Give him patronage or ignore him. So we either get humble or proud. Proud is a, not a bad one because monthly prestige plus we gain prestige here. But we only have 50%. But if we ignore, then these people all like us less. So I think I'm going to give him patronage. Hmm. Maybe it's because we don't have, um, like a certain number of duchies or something. I, it's worth a shot. I don't know. Dish or ducal claims. I don't know. We'll figure it out as we go along, but. I may have to go and look that up, um between now and the next video just so that 
I don't mess things up and just completely ruin our chances of forming the entire empire. Okay, so she's our daughter. Let's uh, give her somebody with high intrigue, patient, diligent. It's our wife, so she's got some really good stats, and she's an elusive shadow, so I think we will pick her. Send. And let's see. Now, our wife is a much, much better spy master, so I think we're going to pick her and send her off to study tech over in Byzantium. And let's see if there's anybody that has better. Nope. It has to be better by a decent amount, because otherwise it's just a waste to switch them out. This guy is better by two. I don't know how much that will affect it, but you know what? It's enough, plus his opinion isn't that high of us. And he's of Trondolog, so he, his opinion does somewhat matter. So, and the other guy had like 78. 17 versus 12, okay, so he's got the highest. 18 versus 10, so he's got the highest, yep. So we got the highest possible characters. Alright, and actually, we're gonna send these guys. Alright. Grab this guy, and then take all these. Grab them, take them there. Alright, send them there. Send these guys there. Alright, so the battle doesn't look like it's going too well, but we do have a flanking bonus. Um, doing Berserker Charge, Shield Wall Tactics, we don't have many cavalry left though. Um, oof, this flank has 39 troops versus 185, so that flank's probably going to fall pretty quickly, even though it's got high morale, and not losing a whole lot of troops. Okay, uh -huh. that's good, these means these guys are retreating. Alright, there we go. Now we're in the melee phase, which is where our troops are going to really kick butt, and there we go. And let's follow them. They're heading up to Finnemarku, which is right here. Actually, we already have troops heading that way, right? Well, they're going to go to Kami first, so we might as well. And we might actually just... Combine these two and send them here instead because these guys are going to chase them down then they can siege it down unless they can't in which case we'll just redirect All right has developed a habit for wild parties She's 14 years old. I guess she could have wild parties. Uh, nothing I can do or curfew So either she becomes chased and arbitrary or or arbitrary um, Or she gets lustful or charitable Either way, it's fine by me. She gained charitable. Hmm. Nice. There we go. And now they're going to siege that down. Awesome. But not they're not ahead by much, which kind of... They should siege it down, at least. Because I believe that's my retinue, for the most part. I don't even know... How do... Uh... Yeah. Should be a way to go... Hmm. Ah, there we go. Yes, a large portion, or yeah, a large portion of it's my retinue, so. Alright, there we go. Let's look at these guys too. In Vargoya, they launched, and here they lost a bunch of men. Probably like 50, to, or 20 to 50. Which just means we outnumber them more compared to the other one, even though it doesn't outnumber by quite as much. Oh, so that guy went on raiding spree. Awesome. Alright. Yeah. 
And it's almost done sieging. I guess it's just that one building. I guess it is a city, I think. Yeah, it's... Wait, what's that? It's a... Mm, I can't tell from the picture. It says it's county capital, but it doesn't say. My wife is pregnant again. I thought I got divorced. Did I remarry? Crap. It's a bad choice whenever you're a Viking and you don't have primogenitor. Because then you just make lots of babies. Oh. Apparently someone decided to help him. Sammy and Careless. But it doesn't matter if we siege down all the crap. We win anyways. Him. Because I don't know if the beast tree from this will count because we're winning. And they joined after. And a bearded elder approaches donning a simple traveler's cloak and a wide-brimmed hat that conceals his other eye. He greets you with courtesy, requests a horn of mead, and then informs you that just yonder a well lies forgotten, filled with gold. He wanders off chuckling as he goes, leaving you struck with the familiarity of his presence. You inform your men that the wanderer was nothing other than Odin. Gain 50 gold, 50 prestige. Gain zealous. You urge your horse forth to seek God's treasure with your fellow hunters in pursuit. You ignore your men's insistence that the stranger was the All-Father. You carry on with your hunt. You scold your men for believing in such gods. Again, Cynical. Cynical is a nice uh, trait, but I'd rather get um, the gold and the prestige. Plus, you know, Zealous isn't bad. Monthly PD, Martial, Church Opinion, Other Faith Opinion, we don't care about because we don't have much, if any, of that. So. I'm going to take that. Let's actually look. I don't remember. Did yeah, we we have Sumanusko here, so we, actually we're gonna want to start converting um, that province now that we have it. So let's grab this guy. We can proselytize in here. All right, so there now we massively now outnumber these guys, so should go down pretty fast. their hiding hole and I need to remember sell off prisoners before unless they count towards your war score and sometimes even then because sometimes they don't count enough to actually affect it um, because let's see yeah prisoners four holy crap so let's see let's look at this and see if, who if anyone so mark you about a Okay, so none of these people, it looks like, affect the war score. Awesome. Means we can sell them all off and just make the money. And sell. Oh, now they don't want that one or they can't afford it. Alright. So we sold off two of them. I'm not sure if we'll get to keep the other ones. Oh. My mother died of depression. Alright, so we took them two. Now he'll buy this one. Alright, we can either execute or release. Mm, I gonna just end the war, and if it gets rid of her, it gets rid of her, but if it doesn't, then great loot. Versus man's. Alright, so let's see. Do we sell this prisoner? Yes, we do. I believe. So, one of the following must be true. Month is before March, but at least November. Okay. And that's it. So, before March and after. So, like January. Awesome. So, let's drop down troops we don't need. Oh, yeah, we're outside from the territory. Let's move back in. Good, it was a girl. regular troops and keep my retinue. Alright, so we have all of that. Now let's take a look at uh, see where's the Duchy of Finland. This is the Duchy of Trondelag. Okay. Let's go up and here's De Jour Norway. So we've completed Norway other than those Orkney and the other one which we don't care about. 
At least I don't, I don't think we have to care about that. Um, so, and then we have this. So, to create this, we need at least kingdom to take two kingdom titles, which we have: Kingdom of Denmark and Kingdom of Norway. Uh, and we can afford the cost of 300 currently, and you need to control 800 per, or 80 percent of its de jure counties to create title. Currently, we control 25 percent. Creating this would give us 800 prestige. Okay, so we need a lot more land. But we're on our way. Which is awesome. And I am going to move this guy because while he could get us a claim there and that'd be nice, we actually more want to claim on something like in here in this area because they're more likely to actually give us something. Like, they're a bigger nation and we need to start taking them out, weakening them. So... Barracks have been built, and we do have a bunch of money, so we might want to uh, upgrade our holding. Alright. Build castle walls. Give us slightly more income. Fortifications can increase four level. Militia training grounds. Barracks, stables, castle town. Castle town is what we want, because it gives us, us plus two gold per month. So our current month balance is 3.0, or I believe it gets a plus two. It might give you um, sort of split, so you don't get 100% um, from each county. Plus, you have expenses and stuff you gotta worry about. It's not showing me my expenses because I know there is at least some. I think if I click, yeah, our expenses. No, apparently we don't have expenses. We're just not making a whole lot of money. Alright, have a great loot. We actually have a person, so we can actually put somebody in without it, but it means that it's not as nice. Alright, guests have arrived. It's time for the loot to begin. You gather outside the temple and start offering animals to sacrifice to the gods while the meat is prepared for the feast that is to follow. The blood is sprinkled on statues of Odin, Thor, Freyr, and the other gods as well as the worshippers themselves. Now time for the human sacrifice. Let me look, so I know there's, yeah, commission rune stone. Okay, so if we had a hundred wealth, then we could do this, but we don't yet. Okay. Burger is brought up from your dungeons and escorted to the temple. As soon as she spots you among those gathered nearby, she hurls insults and spittle your way, continuing even as the noose is placed around her neck. The hatred in her eyes cannot be mistaken. Our father, we offer you this sacrifice. Or I have changed my mind. Yeah, because I'm going to change my mind after she's spitting at me and hurling insults. Now, if she was apologizing and was like, hey, come on, then it'd be fine. But no, she dies. Oh, uh, uh. She was offered up to Odin. Sacrifice is over. Peace at the end of the blue can now begin. The meat of the animal sacrifices are already in prayer, and there's plenty of meat to go around. Let the celebration begin. Morsels of food and clean picked bones fly everywhere from the direction of Olaf as he greedily stuffs himself with the delicacies served at the table. Suddenly his face turns a strange shade of green and he rushes towards the exit only to make it as far as Mayor Javard before he starts wrenching his stomach contents into poor Javard's lap. So because I love this, it actually is affected by his traits. So because he's gluttonous, it actually affects... Um, the event like it, it could have been somebody else who had gluttonous or it could have been a different event if he had a different um, traits so and because of that I think he may lose gluttonous somebody talking about that somewhere Peace is over it'll be nine years until you hold the next one but your vessels return home most seem to agree someone who was well with the trip so for a whole year I get morale of armies plus uh, 0.15 and increased prestige so, nope. Our truce is still on. So, let's see. Kevin's. Nope, we have a truce. We have a truce with them, I believe. Yep. So, let's see. Maybe one of these guys. Nope, can I have a cast a spell there? We do have one with these guys. Yeah. So, let's at least move these guys down here. Start getting prepared to declare war. Oh, My queen died. Of pneumonia. Oh, that's some bullcrap. 
Alright, arranged marriage between me. These are all courtiers. Mm. Alright, let's search all for women who aren't in prison, who aren't married, who aren't a ruler, who are my religion and are my culture, and, ye and yes, are adults. And it doesn't matter whether they're great house or not. Let's look for somebody with high intrigue. Spymaster of Gotland. Hmm. She's elusive shadow. She is a sloth, though. So she won't increase my uh, domain size, but that's fine. I already have a pretty big domain size. Um, but she will help with uh, just good learning and good steward or er, intrigue. Uh, let's see if there is anybody else. Hmm. Doesn't look like it. So I think she's the best choice. She's ambitious and deceitful, but she probably wouldn't be bad to marry off with me, especially considering how late it is. My character is probably not going to live much longer. He's already 40. They're probably not going to make any children, but actually, I don't even know if she's young enough to make children. Just barely. They might be able to squeeze in one kid. <laughs> Alright, so either get 18 gold or 200 prestige. Well, the prestige would be nice to get it up to 4, but I think we care more about gold now because we have just so much prestige. So. Alright, so the 11th of March he's going to get here our episode so leave a like comment and subscribe if you already aren't uh if you guys have anything you want to see me do um after you know we get done forming the uh empire of scandinavia uh, just leave a uh, comment telling me what you want to see thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys later